hi all welcome and we are talking about pinterest for business today and this is updated for 2022 there have been some updates the last couple of years so um let's dive in okay so before we get going um i just want to introduce myself i am claire drake and i have been a pinterest expert for almost seven years now and i absolutely love using pinterest to help people just like you, small business owners, content creators, freelancers, and really help you to use Pinterest to get more traffic, more leads, and more sales for your business. So let's get going. Okay, so first of all, why Pinterest? Why is it so great? So um, firstly, it's free. <laughs> so it's a free resource where you can really drive traffic on autopilot to your business. And that's what I really love about it. And it's very different from social media. It is a search engine, which we are going to be talking about in a moment. But it's very, um, very important. Because what we're going to be looking at in a moment is how you can really utilize that and how you're going to get results in months and years to come um, and that's why I love it so much and also users share your content for you so it's really easy because again like it's a search engine people are sharing your content to their boards and then when people do that then their audience sees that and then it has that snowball effect which is so great if you are going to use ads, so promoted pins, um, they're much cheaper than Facebook. If you have used Facebook ads, you will know it is not cheap. So um, I absolutely love Pinterest for that. Um, it's still very affordable. Uh, it's also a really great way to get people onto your email list. So list building. Um, I have got results down to six peer click, which is pretty great. <laughs> and um, if you know anything about Facebook, you know that it can you can be spending five pound plus on just one click. So it's just absolutely brilliant. And also you can bring in traffic, leads and sales in less than a couple of hours a week, honestly. And once you do this, when you set, once you set up this system, which I will show you, it is really, really simple to replicate. And it's a good use of your time as well. Okay, so let's get going on how Pinterest works. It could be that you know exactly how Pinterest works, but I just want to share this just in case you don't, so you know the process of how to use Pinterest for your business. So at the top, you will see create valuable content. Now, what that can mean is it can be a blog post. It can also be a freebie. So your list building opt-in, which I absolutely recommend. It's such a good way of getting people off Pinterest and onto your email list and into your community. So once you've created that piece of content, you have it housed somewhere on your website or on a landing page. Uh, then we're going to design pin graphics, and video pins and idea pins, which is something that we're going to be talking about in a moment, that direct people to that content. Uh, we are going to get them found. So like I said, Pinterest is all about the keywords. So it's about researching the right keywords to include in your pin descriptions. So when someone is on Pinterest looking for this piece of content or something related to it, your content will come up and get the click. So if it's relevant, um, which is something that we are going to be talking about, how to attract the right people to your account and your content, if it is, oh my gosh, yes, I need this piece of content, I need this, I need this solution in my life, then they're going to click through to find out more. And that's what it's all about. <laughs> and that is the traffic piece. And then you give the value. So you share a blog post, you share some ideas, you share a YouTube video, a tutorial, a, um, a freebie, like I said. So um, it's great for email list building. And that is when you build your email list. So you direct people to your opt-in page for that. Nurture them, email um, sequencing, sending people 
emails so you can really they can really get to know you which is really really important and then sell your offers in your business so your products and services like i said <laughs> growing your email list should be your number one focus and we're definitely going to be diving into this because it is the simplest way to really use the platform strategically and you don't need to be overwhelmed with all the things so uh, let's dive in so first step is is getting up on pinterest getting your account up on pinterest getting it optimized and so what we want to do for that is we want to create an account that attracts your audience now there are two ways of doing this the first way is to attract and help your ideal audience. So you really need to know who you're talking to, who you help from your business perspective. The other way of doing it is showcase what you do and how you can help them. So usually that is um, advice, tips around your products and services. So that's really important when you're thinking of setting up your account think about what boards you can create and what content you can create that can help your audience and help them show, well, help help you <laughs> understand them and they understand you of being able to share that content step number two is focus on lead generating content like i said lead generating content is getting leads <laughs> so getting people on your email list so you can sell to them so you can share what you do with them and that obviously is the investment in that so that's what it's all about it's building the revenue for your business and getting it your business in front of more people so that's why I always focus on list building. So do you have one great opt-in that you can share on Pinterest? Can you just focus on that one thing and then create content that directs people to that? That is the simplest way of using Pinterest and getting results really quickly. Step number three is repurposing. I absolutely love repurposing. It means that you don't need to be creating content all the time so for example if for an opt-in for your list building you have a free video course for example or a checklist or anything like that and you can condense get bits from that course and create pins that lead people to sign up for it so for example for this spe specific one we're looking at static pins i'm going to be going through all the different kinds of pins to create these are static um, pins where they they come up in the feed um, they're not video that's basically what I mean by static so um, for example a life-changing quote from the course that you're offering um, a call to action post grab this awesome free course happy student quotes and more of a how-to so in this course you're going to learn this this and this Okay, so over the years, <laughs> Pinterest has gone back and forth, but they've always loved new content more now than ever. And so there are three ways that you can share content on Pinterest. Firstly, like I've just talked about, is the standard static pin. And the standard static pin means it comes up in the feed in Pinterest and um, you can click on it. So you can click on the image. Um, there's a link below just on the image, on the, on the kind of left-hand side at the moment. They do like to change things up. Um, and then that goes to the landing page, the sales page, wherever you're leading people. Secondly is video pins. So with video pins, they don't direct anywhere um, apart from your account on Pinterest. So it's great for visibility. Um, but you can't click on it in the same way you can do a static pin. Uh, the same for idea pins. Idea pins are very much like Instagram stories in the fact that you're sharing a story. They used to actually be called story pins. <laughs> and so now they're idea pins where you're sharing some content in a few slides. So um, this specific one um, 
it has video and static built in um, and it's a how-to but you can get so creative with it i am going to be putting some more content out on how to create idea pins using canva which is just the best thing ever <laughs> if you're uh, aware of canva it just makes everything so super simple so i'm going to be sharing that soon for you Okay, step four, and this is all about keywords. It's about researching the right keywords and having a really great description so people find your content. People find your static pins, people find your videos, people find your idea pins on Pinterest so they can discover your account and see how you can help them. So this is a really, really important piece. In fact, the most important because you want to create content, but you want it to be found. And if people can't find it, then they're not going to find it. <laughs> and the way they find it is through keywords and searching for it. So what I suggest is write two, two to three sentences about the content that you're sharing, followed by a few hashtags. So for example, for this specific one, this is a Pinterest masterclass that I have. Um, it is a low cost offer, also something that works really well with Pinterest. So list building and low cost offers. So this is um, the description that I have for this specific pin. Want to know how to use Pinterest for business in 2022 and beyond? In this masterclass, I'll show you the five steps to getting your business on Pinterest so you can get more traffic to your website email list subscribers and sales to your business. In there, you will see a good chunk of keywords. <laughs> so first of all, Pinterest for business. Pinterest for business in 2022. Really important, there've been lots of changes. So people want up-to-date advice. Also, business on Pinterest is a long tail keyword. Traffic, traffic to your website, email list, email list subscribers, sales to your business. They are all important keywords that I know my audience is searching for, as well as the hashtags. So Pinterest for business, Pinterest, Pinterest tips, how to use Pinterest, Pinterest marketing and me, so Claire Drake, because I have been doing this a long time. I am quite known for my Pinterest advice and my Pinterest marketing business. And I definitely recommend you having a hashtag for your own business as well. Okay, so I hope that was really helpful. Um, first of all, let's just go through the recap of what you've learned. So first of all, we're gonna create an account that attracts your ideal audience. Remember, it's your audience and what you offer and create boards that are aligned to that. You focus on lead generating content first, limit the overwhelm, focus on one opt-in, create content for that, and then you can expand on it. Step three, repurpose your content by creating numerous pins. So like I said, you're having a piece of content and then you are repurposing it. So you're having static pins, you're having video pins, you're having idea pins that direct people to that opt-in. And step four, get it found. So research in Pinterest and write meaningful descriptions so it can get found. If this was helpful, I have my Pinterest membership opening and it's the Pinterest Collective and it is fantastic. I'll toot my own horn. <laughs> it is so great. Um, you have full access to my, my signature course, which is the Pinterest Profit Formula, which is almost 500 pounds on its own, uh, where you can learn my Pinterest strategy. We dive into all of these aspects in much, much more detail, where you can also ask my support. So um, you can ask me about pins, how to create certain pins, how to write a description. And we also look at if things aren't performing as well as we'd like, then we look at how we can tweak that. And you can join now. It's clairedratecoaching.com forward slash Pinterest dash collective. 
and it's just £97 a month and you can cancel any time so if that's of interest then head on over there and I look forward to seeing you in there. Take care, bye!